Welcome back to Nerdy Knickknacks and Geeky Gear. My name is Sebastian, and I like to take a look at all the gadgets and gizmos aplenty that make life worth living as a nerd. So today, I want to take you through a journey of the gear that I've acquired thrift shopping over the years and how I've saved money and built out a fairly decent studio by shopping at a thrift store. I have been very fortunate to work in the world of video production from every angle, from scripting to acting to directing to behind the camera and all the way through to the edit, and I've had a pretty good time doing it. But I need to confess something to you. I have gas. Gear acquisition syndrome. Now, in layman's terms, gear acquisition syndrome is typically when a video creator or producer keeps buying gear thinking that that gear is what's going to take them to the next level and it can be devastating financially. One way I have been able to control my gas is by outfitting a large portion of my studio from thrift stores. And doing that mostly includes uh, uh, lighting like the fixtures you see in front of me, uh, gripping such as uh, light stands uh, or tripods, and in the rarest of occasions, vintage lenses. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at what is probably my favorite thing to find at thrift stores, and that is lighting. So right here is an eight inch Altman Fresnel. It's called a Fresnel because of this right here. And it's very similar to other lights you might find. Uh, it has a halogen lamp. Now, uh, this is kind of cheating because I didn't technically find this at a thrift store, but it was given to me for free, a set of four at a theater that I used to work at. Really, I only use these when I've got a big shoot with a big corporate client and I've got to look uh, uh, more expensive than I am. Uh, because halogen lights are hot. This in here is a 500 watt lamp, uh, and it's about a 1600 hour or something like that, which honestly sounds like a lot, but it is not. These are not power efficient. These are not comfortable to sit under. Uh, but that being said, they do produce what is probably the purest light out of anything I'm gonna show you today. But you're thinking, Sebastian, I thought this was about stuff I could find at a thrift store. Okay. Recently, I was able to find this. This is a Smith Victor Studio Light. I picked this up for $8. And what's really interesting about this unit is Smith Victor actually still sells this unit new. They sell it uh, with a black finish, though. It is the exact same unit as this one right here. The only difference is it's black. And the reason they still make this unit is because these units are fantastic. Um, what's great about picking up lights like this from a thrift store is the mount. It's got just a regular Edison style mount. When I picked this up, it came with this 120 volt, 40 watt flood lamp, which is you know something you would use uh, in a recessed groove or whatever in your house. It's just a, a, a lamp that you would pick up at Walmart or Target or wherever. But what's really cool is it has the same base as this LED bulb, and this can go right inside. As long as it's got a regular Edison fitting, it can go inside of this unit. So you can use LED lights like this. All of a sudden now, you've got an LED video light. Or you can do what I did and pick yourself up some smart bulbs. Uh, these are from, I got these from Costco. This is Fight Electric, and I haven't had a single issue with these and they're RGB. You can connect them to your phone, and you can turn your lights on from there. I don't, obviously, I don't have it plugged in right now. It, what's really great is when you find old units like this, you can retrofit them with newer bulbs or lamps, as we call them in the business. And next up here, and this is really exciting, is I went to the thrift store the other day, and I found this. Now this, is old it was also around eight dollars now this is an old smith victor movie light and if you look at the lamps on here they even say that they're movie lights now the reason older cameras needed big lights like this is that the film 
uh, wasn't quite as sensitive as it would be later on. So you had to have a lot more light, a lot more powerful lights. And this puts out a combined, and what's really cool is this puts out a combined 1200 watts of light, which uh, is equivalent to like a, a butt ton of energy. But you can see here, again, they use the same Edison base as that other light, which means that we can easily retrofit this with newer lights. This, uh, a modern day equivalent, draws about 10 watts um, and gives me the color temperature of the light, which these don't give me because they're just gonna be, uh, I believe they're just daylight. So what is that, 57K? Um, but what I can do is I can replace all four of these with a modern light, but now I've got a much softer LED light, a dimmable uh, or a dimmable RGB light, or like what I plan to do with this, a dimmable Bluetooth speaker light. <sighs> because the Edison base hasn't really changed in over like a hundred years, you can take out these antique lamps and put just about whatever lamp you want in there and it will still work and that's why I like to pick up these older fixtures because they're just as good if not the exact same as the newer ones. Next up here and it's not quite as exciting as lighting um, are tripods and stands. This is the first tripod I ever owned. It is a piece of shit but i only paid three bucks for it and at the time it got the job done and ultimately when i picked up more gear it worked great as a tripod for my gopro which is a much smaller lighter camera and i've also used it to put different microphones like my like my small form factor zooms on top and i just point it at the subject speaking and it's worked great the thing i probably see the most other than tripods are light stands now this isn't the best or the sturdiest light stand. It's definitely strong enough for the uh, 120 Smith Victor that we saw to, to sit on top of and it'll definitely hold up something like that. Um, but let's pretend for a second you've already invested in some smaller LED lights. These work perfectly for that. Every time I find one of these in good condition, I pick it up because I see them all the time and usually they're in like new or near new condition and they're rarely more than three or four bucks. Now I'm clearly not lighting my scene with the lights I just showed you like I usually would. I'm actually using these and what's really interesting is Smith Victor has a thrifty line of lights which is essentially these cheap work lights just at twice the cost and they say Smith Victor and uh, they're black but you can pick these up at just about any hardware store under ten dollars and they come in various sizes and that's what I'm using right now to light this scene and you never would have known had I not told you. What you can do is you can just take these clamps right off, toss those away and install this part right onto here and it becomes a, a functioning working light and you can move it however you want, adjust it, do whatever. Or you can go to Smith Victor's website and you can buy uh, a ball head adapter that goes on here and then that screws onto the ball head and it gives it even more of a range of motion. But probably the most exciting thing I've ever seen at a thrift store or bought at a thrift store oh, is this Bogan video tripod. If you don't recognize the name Bogan right off the name, I bet you will notice is Monfrotto. That's right, Bogan and Monfrotto are essentially the same brand. You're just not going to get quality like this trying to buy something new when you could buy something vintage or something used that is in great condition like this just missing a small part that you can replace easily off of Amazon. And so finally and probably most exciting are the vintage lenses. Now if you're an aspiring video creator you know that lenses are probably the most expensive part of your investment. Right now I'm shooting on a Canon M50 which of course is a small mirrorless camera and uh, probably the cheapest EOS M mount lens you can get right now is a 22 millimeter and it still costs about 200, 300 dollars 
of course, not counting the kit lens. The kit lens is much cheaper, but it comes with the camera, so I'm assuming you already have it. So really, if you're trying to get that, that gorgeous depth of field, that, that blurry background, you're going to want a prime lens. And they are, again, expensive. We previously talked about a relatively cheap 8 millimeter, but even that was still expensive than probably my entire vintage collection. This isn't even all of them. This is just some of them here that I've purchased. But over the years, I've purchased everything from about a 28 millimeter all the way up to 135 millimeter prime lens. And my collection at full price would be worth thousands. But I've been fortunate enough to find these lenses in great condition at thrift stores. So I hope you got some value out of this video and I hope it at least showed you that you don't need to spend thousands upon thousands of dollars to get some really great equipment to build out your video studio. Now if you did get all the way through and you enjoyed this video please uh, smash that like button for me let you know that you like this video if not head on down to the comments below tell me that you hate my face because I hate my face because my beard still isn't back yet but we're close we're getting there we're getting there also, in the comments below, let me know what the coolest thing is that you have ever found at a thrift store, a discount shop, or gotten for free. I'm always curious to know the, the kind of cool stuff that people can find at their local thrift stores. Also, while I'm on that note, don't uh, go to the Goodwill. Well, I don't like the Goodwill. I don't really shop at the Goodwill anymore, even though I've found some of the stuff I showed you at the Goodwill. Um, they've moved all of their stuff online where they're gouging people around the country. But if you do... Uh, want to help some people out or if you want to help out the channel uh, check out the humble bundle link I've put in the description below you may not know this I am a type 1 diabetic and right now humble bundle has their summer adventure pack uh, and it's a bunch of telltale games like Batman Walking Dead the Wolf Among Us and the proceeds go to the JDRF which is the juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation. So if you use uh, the link below, it is an affiliate link. You'll also be helping out this diabetic, but you'll be helping diabetics the world over by just by buying some great video games. Uh, until next time, thanks for tuning in and have a good one.